Okay, here we go. To talk about another laser disc. So basically I watched The Hunt for Red October, hope I said it right, with Sean Connery. You know, Sean Connery wasn't a really overly huge character in this. Sadly, Alec Baldwin's in it, but <laughs> nothing we can do about that. The movie was made in 91, I think. 1990, 91, whatever it was. So it was a long time ago. Over 30 years ago this movie was made. I gotta say, it's at the top of a Laserdisc movies to watch. The only problem is there, um, you look at this for a second, it has some really good artwork inside and stuff. The only problem is, is that you have to flip the disc twice. You put side one in, then you flip it to side two, then you have to eject it out of the player and put the third disc in, but it's really not that big, big of a deal. With all the transfer time, it doesn't even take five minutes. So I don't understand why people complain about Laserdisc so much with that. That was the whole point with this. Even if you have one of those auto-reverse re auto units, it's going to make no difference because you still have to take another Laserdisc and put it inside the player. So <laughs> it really, um, the only time that makes a difference is if you only have two sides to a, a disc or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, disc. And that's it. All right, this was 135 minutes, and um, that's pretty long. Um, it had a good, really good cast. You know, I hadn't watched this movie in a while, and I kind of got distracted last night, so I rewatched it all from one of my Blu-rays. I did not buy this in 4K. Um, it, I didn't buy this in 4K. I watched it in Blu-ray, and when I watched it in Blu-ray, I said to myself, um. What a great cast this was, because I was actually paying attention this time. There were so many great actors in this movie. Um, it's a shame James Earl Jones got, gets such minor parts. You notice, like, he was the the voice of Darth Vader and all that. But um, over the years, he's such a great actor. In some movies, he has very minor parts in for some reason. Maybe he, that's what he wanted, probably. He probably could have got any part he wanted to. Um, all right, let me name some of the actors. Um, to see if there's a list. And it might not even be a list. No, I don't even think there is a list. Jeez. <laughs> okay. If you look on the back here, it tells you all the, um, the main ones. Like, yeah, Sean Connery, Alec Baldwin, James O. Jones, Sam Neill. Which I think that's the guy from Jurassic Park, the original. First two. I don't think any of the original people were in the third um, Jurassic Park that they made, which was complete garbage, but I still have it on VHS and Blu-ray and 4K because they, um, oh, no, no, wait. I don't think that movie, was that in 4K? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Unrelated to this. So, um, it's a submarine movie. You don't get too many of those lately either. So, I add this to my collection of watched laser discs. I have so many more to watch now, but Laserdisc is something I can finish, unlike VHS or anything else. Bye-bye.